Minty? Can you move so Mummy can film? Oh! No! Be nice. Be nice, girl. I have to get a treat to excavate you. Welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. How are you all? Are you all having a lovely, this is going up on a Thursday, because do you know what, I got in from work yesterday, and I was like, I want to, I need to film a video, I need to film my November currently reading, and I thought, I'm just going to get in the bath, and I did just get in the bath, and it was lovely, and then I watched The Apprentice, so day late for November currently reading, but I'm sure you all can find it in your hearts to forgive me. Today, as I said, I'm going to be talking about the books that I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading three books. I will start with the book that I'm listening to on audiobook, as it's a book that I have listened to and read many, many times, and that is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. Um, you all will know that. Um, what I will say, I mean, I won't go into great details about this book. This is my favourite of the Harry Potter series, and um, the Triwizard Cup is my favourite scene, and I just think the Yule Ball's wonderful and um, probably one of my favourite bits from the whole series and um, I, I, maybe I hadn't really realised this until I was listening to it yesterday is um, when Harry goes to the prefect's bathroom with his egg um, to find out what... Um, what the next clue is um, and I just love the description of all the foams he goes to this for those who haven't read Harry Potter what are you doing go and read it now um, there's he goes he gets given this egg that he has to find out um, what the when he opens it there's a big screeching sound um, and one of the other people in the Triwizard Cup um, Cedric Diggory um, oh, I was almost going to give a spoiler there. Mm. <laughs> um, he says, why don't you go to the prefect's bathroom and mull things over? So he goes there and there's this massive bath and it's got loads of taps with loads of different foam and different smelling bubbles. And um, there's a picture of a mermaid on the wall and he does some lengths of this bath. And oh my God, it just, I mean, for someone who loves baths anyway, this was like bath heaven <laughs> listening to it. So yeah, um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is my favourite Harry Potter and just listening to it. It's just wonderful. And I, I tend to sort of, um, at the moment, what I've been doing with my Harry Potters is read in the illustrated editions up to when I've got them and then listening to the rest of the books for the rest of the year um, and then starting again the following year so I've only got as far considering it's November I've only got as far as the Goblet of Fire this year it's not not my bestest progress um so yeah I'll probably carry on with um with listening to Harry Potter after Christmas because I've got a few um other books I want to listen to by the end of the year so that's the book I'm listening to on audiobook uh, and then I'm currently reading two books um the first one is one I started yesterday, and I've already read 64 pages, so well done me. Um, and that is Educated by Tara Westover. This is the book that I'm reading in my um, online book club at the moment, and it's a book that I've been meaning, meaning to read for um, a really long time. Um, this tells, the, uh, this is a non-fiction book about Tara's life um, growing up, preparing for the end of days with a, um, a father who believed that um, they needed to prepare themselves for the, the end of days. I'm, I'm very early on in this book. Um, she comes from a family, she's got um, lots of brothers, I think she comes... It's about nine, there's about nine children. Um, she's got lots of brothers and one sister and one of her brothers um, becomes um, very, very violent towards her. Now that hasn't happened yet, um, but it's sort of set in the scene for um, when her, bro her older brother's left home and one of them's gone to college um, just against her, her father and mother's wishes. Um, and yeah, you're just learning about her life and how she sort of um, unaware of how different she is to other people um, sh and um, yeah I think it's going to be really interesting I'm very much looking forward um, to getting more into it now I was watching um, a video on Sana's channel recently um, I will link the video down below where her and Anna James were talking about um, books that they love that are to do with cults and things and both of them said that this is in competition for the best book that they've read this year so um, high praise indeed um, so yeah so we'll continue to read this and um, yeah please very pleased, very, very, um, very much um, enjoying it so far. Um, and then the last book that I am reading, God, this is going to be a quick video, isn't it? Um, the last book that I'm reading is one that I am, um, I received from the publisher earlier this year and was very, very pleased to receive it um, and thought straight away, what a gorgeous Christmas present that would make. And um, I plan to include this in my Christmas gift guide. Um, so I thought, well, I better read it before I include it in my Christmas gift guide because it's all good and well looking at a beautiful front cover. Um, of a book and this is The Restless Girls by Jessie Burton which is illustrated by Angela Barrett it's published by Bloomsbury um, but I need to know the the insides of it now I'm just over um, halfway I'm on chapter six now um, 
And I've got to say, tell you, I'm bloody absolutely loving this. It's such an amazing fairy tale and it makes me feel cosy in a way um, that reminds me of like reading um, children's books when I was younger. The illustrations also really remind me of like some sort of um, like collect like storybook collections I had, like really cosy, um, lovely colours. Um, the, the, the illustrations are just beautiful. The whole book itself is gorgeous. Look at underneath it that lovely mint green and it's just wonderful and all these worn out slippers so this tells the story of um, 12 sisters um, whose mother died in a car accident in a motor car accident and their father who is the king um, doesn't want his daughters to come to any harm in the way that his wife has done so he um, he locks them up in um, in the castle uh, in the palace and um, and uh, one night they discover a behind a, a picture of their mother in their bedroom. They're able to get, um, they're able to travel these wonderful lands and find somewhere called the Tree Palace where they dance and eat donuts all night. And um, each of them is able to sort of thrive in her own way. One of them loves plants, one of them loves singing, one of them um, loves animals. And um, they're all just, yeah, just absolutely just living their best lives. Um, and yeah, and then um, something happens. Um, and that's the bit, that's the point I've just reached. Um, but oh my God, it is wonderful. It's a wonderful wonderful story like I'm absolutely loving the story the illustrations are gorgeous and I just feel like I mean I'm going to include this in my um gift guides you'll hear more about it there but absolutely fantastic and beautiful really really loving it really really thrilled about it so thank you so much to Bloomsbury for sending that to me I was actually this was on my Christmas list and then when they contacted me and said did you want to receive a copy I was like Christmas has come early um so yeah so those are the three books that I am reading at the moment would love to hear what books you are reading at the moment how do you do you, do you like to read who's a multi-reader do you like to read uh, one book at a time would you like to read many books at a time I always very much used to be a only read one book at a time but then when I started listening to audiobooks that sort of slipped in and um quite often I would I would um, listen to a um, to a non-fiction and then read a fiction but as time's gone on I found myself I have an audiobook on the go and then I tend to have a fiction non-fiction and then like a short stories or like a graphic novel or something on the go as well that tends to be happening so to have three books on the go is not very many for me at all and in fact at, at one point yesterday I only had two books on the go imagine so yeah so those are the books that I'm currently reading in the month of November would love to hear from you what you guys are currently reading and I will see you all again tomorrow for another booktube video. Goodbye!